And in our next segment, feminists and human rights organizations in Paraguay demand policies from the state that can prevent girls from being raped and then forced to give birth. Take a look. In this place, you can find pregnant girls and adolescents. Among them, a 10-year-old little girl with an advanced pregnancy, product of rape, which proves lack of proper policies to deal with these cases. To this day, she's practically admitted into a Red Cross shelter that is in fact a shelter for child mothers. And what the director says and has said to the media is why do they scandalize with this case when there are many cases of child mothers? Then there is also a standardization. As told by Clyde Soto, a feminist sociologist, the girl's mother asked for the interruption of the pregnancy. Nonetheless, it wasn't dealt with soon enough, leading to her not being able to have an abortion and prevent this situation in the girl's life. It's a very difficult case due to how advanced it is, but there are many cases of child mothers in which you have to act to be able to have an early convenient answer to prevent the situation from extending along Paraguay. Feminist and human rights organizations are claiming policies that prevent more girls from being raped and forced to give birth. They are demanding the penalization of child abuse and the depenalization of abortion in the case of sexual abuse. Nowadays, abortion is decriminalized in cases in which the woman's, or a citizen's case, the girl's life is at risk. However, there should be broader circumstances to qualify for an abortion, for example, in cases of child pregnancy, sexual abuse or rape, which is what has been proposed. In Paraguay, only in 2014, an approximate of 700 girls between 10 and 14 years old were mothers. For women's organizations, these are shocking numbers and demonstrate a real social drama.